We have another very unusual artist with us tonight, although he's just a 10-year-old boy. He's been acclaimed everywhere as one of the outstanding violin virtuosos of our time. His recent appearance at Carnegie Hall has won much praise, high praise, from all the critics. Ladies and gentlemen, Master Charles Castleman. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. For my first selection tonight, I would like to play The Ukrainian Fantasy by Wienowski Andrzej. <laughs> Pardon me, did you, pardon me, did you see Mr. Sinatra in his? Oh, yes, he went out that way. Oh, he did. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, pardon me. So, you, you play the violin, do you? Yes, sir. Do you, uh, do you practice? No, sir. You don't practice? Well, you, you'll certainly never get anywhere if you don't practice. You know? <laughs> After practice, 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 you see, if you want to be, if you want to be good, you know, and these are the important years, you know, I, I remember when I was your age. You do? <laughs> yes, I used to practice every day, and that's how I became a very, very fine violinist. Um, uh, you're going to play a number now, are you? Do you mind? Let me show, let me see how you, uh, how you hold the bow and everything. Oh, you'll never, you'll never get anywhere that way. Let me, well, let me show you. You see, in the first place, the way you're holding the bow, you see, it could slip right out of your hands. Don't you see? You must hold the bow like this. You see what I mean? Stiff like this. This is called the Western grip. You see what I mean? See, then it'll never get away. Now your your chin. How do you put the violin under? Your, no, 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 no. You must rest it a little bit. You see what I mean? A little bit like more, and hold this like this. You see what I mean? This keeps you from slicing. You see in the string? And keep one foot out, just a little bit. One out, one leg out a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. We'll keep the... You gotta keep the leg out just a little bit like this. Uh, there you are, you see. This is where you want. Now, this is the way to play a violin number. Now, let me hear you play a number now. Let's see. Go ahead, let's hear it. Go ahead. You know, Sinatra's supposed to come out now, am, but he Jack. forgot his cue altogether. <laughs> oh, pardon me. What are you doing, Jack? Huh? Well, I'm just giving the, the kid a few pointers, I think. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Uh, Jack, did you ever hear of the concert violinist Charles Castleman? Charles Castleman? Yes, we went to school together. Oh, really? <laughs> well, he, uh, yeah. In fact, I taught him everything he knew, you know. Yeah. But, Jack, mm-hmm. uh, this is Charles Castleman. Oh. Well, the Charles Castleman I think of, I'm thinking of had a trio in Waukegan. There was a, a violin, an organ, and a monkey. You see what I mean? The monkey now has his own band. It's called Spike Jones. <laughs> Jack, let's get out for a while. We'll let Charles Castleman play this. Uh, okay. Thing, huh? I still think he hasn't got his legs right. I don't know. This thing. <laughs>
כדאי להם.